Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about escorted tour companies and I'm going to speak about the ones that I have travelled with and what my opinion is of them and whether I would use them again. So the four that I have been with are Riviera Travel, Mercury Holidays, Just You and Kwani Jules Verne. I haven't been with Titan or Saga. Um, I was due to take some trips with them, but then COVID happened and everything got cancelled. So I can only talk about the four that I've been with. So let's start with Mercury Holidays. So Mercury Holidays is a travel agent and uh, they don't actually send someone out with you to escort you on the holiday. They uh, put together a local tour company and your flights and basically package it all up together and off you go and when you get to your destination somebody there will be running the actual tour. In theory. I went to South America with uh, Mercury Holidays and uh, on this occasion, they, they booked the flights and the flights were actually the worst flights they could have booked and the worst seats they could have booked. And uh, prior to actually going on the holiday, I will say their booking is, system is very good and that side of their customer service is very good. And actually, I had booked to go to India with them um, but then COVID happened and they were very good at refunding the money quite quickly. But when it came to checking in, things started to go wrong. Uh, I, I couldn't check in because it kept saying there was a tour leader and the tour leader needed to do it. But what I could see is the names of other participants on my group with uh, some of their personal details. And that shouldn't really be happening. Uh, I couldn't check in. I'm going to phone Mercury to tell them that there's a problem here and I can see other people's details. They just said, oh, you can never check in when you go on a group tour. That's not actually true. So it wasn't a great start anyhow. And as I said, they did pick the worst seats on this aeroplane. Um, and even the hostesses said when they tried to take my bags off me to put them in the hole, they said, well, you shouldn't be in the cheapest seats then, should you? <laughs> <clears throat> but anyhow, we, we got there. And um, now, when we got there, rather than it being one tour company doing the whole of the South America itinerary, uh, we had one tour company for Santiago and then when we went on to the Atacama Desert, another tour company picked it up and they took us all the way through to Cusco. And then, in Cus and then when we got to Lima, we had another tour. And then when we got to the Amazon rainforest, there was no escorted tour about it. You just basically were sent on the boat and the hotel looked after everything for you. So that part wasn't, in my view, an escorted tour. So the tour operators that they partnered up with from the Atacama Desert in Chile right up to Cusco in Peru, you could not fault. They were absolutely brilliant. However, the tour people in Santiago in Chile were not so good. They left people behind in the hotel. Um, they shortchanged us on the city tours and it was all very haphazard. It wasn't great. And the tour company in Lima they partnered up with was just as bad. And she ended up shouting at some of the, the guests because they had messed up our plane tickets. <laughs> and uh, when we went to the Amazon jungle, we were basically on our own. There was uh, nine of us in the group, but there was nobody sort of escorting us. We were just sort of put on the plane, 
got off and then the hotel met us and transported us there and, and brought us back. And so it wasn't escorted as such, which was a bit disappointing because when we came back, we were dropped off at this point and had eight hours to wait for our shuttle to pick us up to take us to the airport. And during that time, we all went for a wander and ended up in the middle of a drive-by shooting. Not ideal. So in all, would I go with Mercury holidays again? No. I would definitely go with the tour group that went from the Atacama Desert to Cusco, Peru. I would book them separately, but I wouldn't book through Mercury holidays. Now, I know other people that have been with Mercury holidays and they rate them. But my experience was once been <laughs> twice shy. My next one uh, is uh, Coney and Jules Verne. And they are sort of linked together, so I'm going to put them together. So I've been to Kenya with Coney, Egypt and Turkey with Jules Verne. I went to Kenya and Egypt in the same year, about eight years ago, so way before COVID. And then I went to Turkey uh, last year with them. Now, again, these are not, you do not get a local UK guide come with you. When you arrive, they partnered up with a local tour company and they've bolted it together with flights and that's the package they offer. So with Kwoni and Kenya, um, I had no complaints about that at all. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Um, the, the whole process was very seamless. I was able to check in okay. All my questions were answered. Um, the local tour operator was outstanding. And, uh, brilliant. Egypt with Jules Verne, which was, uh, it was about, the, it was about six months after I'd done the Kwoni Kenya one. Um, and again, it, the local tour company they'd chosen was absolutely brilliant. You couldn't fault them at all. They were so spot on. Um, and it was a really, really positive experience. Then last year, the one with Turkey. Hmm. Not so good. Now, I'm not saying it was bad, but Jules Verne and Kwoni have a reputation of having high quality uh, hotels, um, uh, services, food, everything. And I just didn't feel like Turkey was to their usual standard. Now, I don't know if that's because it's after COVID or it was because it was Turkey. I don't know. But the hotels were pretty substandard. The tour, tour group, well, the tour operator, he was very knowledgeable, but he also wasn't very helpful when uh, things outside of the actual tour went wrong. So usually if something happens with your hotel room, you go and speak to him. Um, and I had a lot of trouble with my hotel room at the first uh, place and I could never get in the door. I was getting so frustrated with having to keep going up and down the stairs to get a new key. And it happened every single time. And also, even though I'd paid a single supplement, I was put in a single room in the basement, no windows. Well, it had a window and I opened the curtains and it was a brick wall, so it was pitch black. Actually, the first morning I wanted, <clears throat> I wanted to go for a walk around uh, Taxim Square. And I didn't realise that I had a brick wall outside my window. So I was just thinking, oh, gosh, why is it so dark here? When's it going to get light? It's like eight o'clock in the morning. And it was only when I popped outside and saw it has been light for a long time. I just didn't notice. There were some issues as well with the, like the food. It wasn't great. The standard wasn't very good. And now with escorted tours, not all your meals are included. And sometimes you, you know, you're left to go and find your own food, and and that's fine. But we weren't really given a lot of choice of where we could eat. And it was very ramped up in price. And, uh, you know, Turkey is not an expensive place to eat. 
um, but these prices were super expensive. So we were obviously being taken on there, uh, a bit of a, a jolly, shall we say, to put it politely. So it kind of left a bit of a bad taste in people's mouth and uh, didn't do the, it didn't really, uh, you know, it wasn't The tour was fine. It was a little bit shambolic in places, um, a little bit rushed. And uh, there was a lot, a lot of talking from the tour guide. And so you never had any time to go and see things for yourself, which is a little bit disappointing. Usually, you you know, you get the talk and then you off you go. Um, so all in all, I would have said pre-COVID, uh, Jules Verne Coone absolutely would go with. But my turkey experiences kind of put me off them a bit now. So uh, I probably would think again. But again, that's my experience and it could be it was just because it was turkey. Oh, I don't know. So Just You, so Just You is uh, the sister company of Travel Sphere, but Just You is, as it says on the tin, it's for solo travellers. I went with them, uh, uh, be yes, before COVID, before COVID for the first one, to China. And uh, now they do take someone from the UK as your tour manager, so you have someone travelling with you throughout the whole tour, from the minute you leave the airport, you actually meet them at the airport and they stay with you right till you get home. And uh, they also have tour, tour guides in each region in China. I have to say it was very well run. Um, you know, the itinerary was spot on. We got to see all the things. The tour manager was absolutely brilliant. The tour guides were really good. The only thing I didn't like about Just You was the group was huge. I mean, it was the biggest group I'd ever gone on. It was like near on 40 people. And so it was a little bit chaotic. It took forever to get on the bus to get off. That was my only negative thing about Just You. And so I didn't actually book with them again for quite some time because I just thought I don't really want to go with such big groups. It's, it's just not me. I prefer smaller groups. But then, um, a couple of years ago, three, I think it was just over two and a half years ago, I did book with them again. I went to Uganda. And again, this was a fully escorted tour. Uh, we had a guide meet us at the airport in, in the UK, went all the way through with us, and then we had local guides at each place in Uganda. And it was an absolutely brilliant tour. Um, of course, we went to see the gorillas in the mountains, and which is why you go to Uganda. And this time, the group was very, I think there was oh, 12, 13 of us. That, it was a very small group. Um, it, was, it was much nicer. When, you, when it's a smaller group, it's, for me, it's like, you know, you get to know people better. It's, it's, and, and everything runs smoother because you're not waiting for 40 people to get on a bus and get off it and, you know, and then find them when they go missing. Uh, my only thing about Just You, and I got a little bit upset on the whole day, was and, uh, they, they sometimes use, like, homestays um, or they have big apartments. So although you have your own ensuite room, you'll be sharing the rest of it with someone else and I don't have a problem with that because I have my own bedroom and my own suite but it was the way it, I think they were joking when they said oh you're sharing with someone and it kind of got me in a bit of a tiz um but that was the only thing the the food was excellent the tour guide was excellent um so I would say just you I would ch always check the numbers in the group but yeah, I'll go with them again. They were superb both times. And the only negative was the group size for China. But just check the numbers. Um, and also I would check that I'm not sharing a room. But I wasn't really sharing a room. We only shared the lounge area. It was fine. Yeah, very well organised. Spot on. Very helpful. Yeah, definitely. Then there's Riviera Travel. And I've been with Riviera three times. So my first ever uh, solo trip and escorted tour was with Riviera. And it was to Vietnam and Cambodia. 
they too have a UK tour manager go with you from the UK all the way to come back to the UK with uh, individual tour guides at each destination. Um, absolutely brilliant. The, this tour was absolutely brilliant. Uh, the, guy, the tour manager knew everything that he needed to know. You, there wasn't a question he didn't know about Vietnam and Cambodia. When you know, if you wanted to go somewhere, he knew it. He was so good that on the first evening when we arrived there, he took us out to show us how to cross the road. And believe me, you need lessons to cross the road in Vietnam. Um, it was, it was. He was absolutely brilliant, and the whole experience was brilliant. Um, it wasn't a solo tour. There was other couples on there, and there was one other single lady on there with me. Um, and everybody was very pleasant. It was, it was, it was really, really good. And um, and especially since it was my first time doing an escorted tour or even solo travelling, it was a, a really, really positive experience. So because I really liked Riviera travel, I went the next year to India with them. Um, but I didn't have quite the same experience with them. <laughs> Again, we had this uh, tour manager coming from the UK all the way through and individual tour guides. But what let them down on this one was the tour manager and the tour guides. They were, they were just not good. The tour manager had no idea about any of the locations in India or any of the like additional activities we could do. She was just so poor and she got so raggedy with me when I wouldn't go and do the factory tours and we all know when you do these escorted tours there's going to be one of these blooming factory tours in there where you know they want you to buy a duvet or you know they, they dress it up with oh we're going to get lessons in how duvets are made or how silk is made but then there's or how coffee is made but then there's uh, really expensive products at the end that you don't want you're never going to want them but you always have to do them. But I refused to do it and she didn't like it. And um, she got really like, raggedy with me. And that wasn't the reason like I didn't like it. I just didn't think that she should have been running this tour because she knew nothing about any of it. Um, and so that put me off Riviera and I didn't go back with them for a long time until... I wanted to go to South Africa and I wanted to go on an escorted tour. And Riviera was the only one that had the dates that I wanted to do. So it was the same thing. It was fully escorted all the way from the UK, all the way back with guides uh, at each destination. But they were back on form here. She was absolutely brilliant. But I would say the, the guide I had... For, for Vietnam and Cambodia and the guy that we had, the, I'm talking about the tour managers here for South um, Africa, as well as the, both the guys for Just You are absolutely outstanding. Nothing was ever too much trouble for them and Riviera just redeemed themselves in my eyes. The whole trip was absolutely fantastic. Um, all the, all the, the tour guys, the tour manager were brilliant. The food was amazing. The accommodation was amazing. It was it was a wonderful experience. And so they redeemed themselves in my eyes. And I, and I, I, like I'm raving about Riviera and Just You. And I'm sure people may have negative opinions about them. But for me, um, I probably wouldn't go back with Jules Verne or Quoney and I definitely won't be going back with Mercury Holidays. Um, uh, but I would definitely book you, Just You and uh, Riviera again. They're my top two. And like I said, there's some I haven't been with any others, um, but uh, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with those two. I hope that's helpful. Love to hear any comments from anyone else and what your views were on escorted tour operators. It's always good to share knowledge. Take care. Bye.